Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So what we're going to do today is a quick tip for y'all. I know a lot of you are starting out uh, and don't have a lot of supplies. That's okay. I have so many videos on my channel of using stuff around the house and I continue to, you know, make them because I think it's great to have, you know, options. And so what we're going to do today is another tip. Um, you know, it, Making fabric is one of my favorite things. I like to take muslin and I like to, uh, you know, make different fabrics for the quilts I make. And I made this the other day. There's a video. I will link it at the end. But you can see, I mean, look at that. Oh, isn't that awesome? So, you know, there's so many, so many wonderful things. But here's what we're going to do today. We are going to make these little flowers. Now, this is very simple. I use these, I use my old pill bottles because I literally have hundreds a month of these pill bottles in my home. And I like to, you know, store little things. And I just have a little piece of tape there with what it is. And these just happen to be words. I love cutting out words from books or magazines or whatever, and I keep them in here. But I like to do, you know, a double duty kind of thing. And so I took a piece of kids fun foam and I cut out a heart and this is, you know, my Mod Podge. I like to make my circles, do my thing. And so I made a smaller heart so you can see, and you can see here, I cut it out from the, um, you know, corner, but you don't have to, and you can have it be whatever you want. You guys know, I love embossing these or drawing in these and maybe i'll show real quick uh you know something else for the, you guys who maybe have not have seen before but lots to get going i'm just using this stays on because it was sitting here um but of course you can use your fabric ink um which i don't have right here but uh you can use your acrylic ink your whatever you have use whatever you have and one of the things i like to do is i like to take my stamp and i'll just show you and I glued it on the top with a glue stick. One of my favorites, Elmer's Extreme. Now, I usually would use Mod Podge, but because I was kind of in a hurry, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to do this. Something else that you can do is if you get it around, you know, a little bit around here and you don't, you know, you just give it a little wipe. It's not that big a deal. Sometimes I will put the pad to this. I'll do that on here. But if you see, this is really cool. You made your own stamp. And what's cool, what I love about this is, I'll just keep going. You can um, just stamp around and make. Now you can see, I don't know if you can really see this or not here, but like a little bit is on here. You know, I don't mind having my hands dirty, so, but, uh, I'll just use that and I'll go keep going. Go as many times as you want. And what we have is a flower. Come on on your fabric. Now I'm going to do a black and white, uh, piece of fabric. And so I will be using these, but I mean, look how cool it's not perfect. Who cares? So that's the heart for this. And you can just leave it as a heart. You can use it as a background. You can use it as a layer in your mixed media. I could go on hours and hours and hours, but here we go. So we're recycling, we're upcycling a pill bottle. Okay. So now I have this. So what am I going to do? Same thing. Now, this is what I would usually do if I don't really want to get on any stamp around. I'll just kind of give it a little a dupe and a dupe. There you go. I'll run my hands just in case. Okay. And look at me, oh, look at me, look at me. And then you can go and do the same thing. I'm just gonna stamp on there just to get done. You can use your markers um, to, you know, to get the ink off, but see, you got these different sizes and you can keep going. Um, like I said, you can draw on this and cut it. I just happened to do the corners because it was easier for me to cut these. I can do different sizes. And then you can go in with, you know, black or green or whatever you want. Um, let me see if I, I don't have anything sitting here. Of course I don't. Why would I? But let me take this a little 
you can kind of, what the heck is even that glue doing on there? You can go in and uh, with a darker color of what you use or black, make it graphic. You know what I mean? I mean, you can really add to it and, and play around and, oh gosh, so much fun. Um, so yeah, so let me show you this. So this is just a piece of kids fun foam. I'm going to let's cut it this way and I'll show you real quick. You can see I have some texture in here. I put this, um, I heated this rather with my heat gun and I stuck a stamp in it. Right. And it gave me a little bit of texture because I love texture, but something else you can do is you could take a pencil pen, whatever you have. I think I'm going to use the end of my, um, stencil brush and you draw. So I'm not going to draw. I'm just going to kind of like sketch just some lines and just so you can see, and you want to push hard because you want those to show. And if any of it puffs back, you know, so that's what I do. And I love to draw and I have video of so many videos of me doing different kind of stamps. I cut out pieces and put, oh, there's so many things, just a lot of things that you can do um, at home that you don't have to see how I just put those lines and all. I'll just do it like this and I'm just going to stamp it up, stamp it up, stamp it up. And this, you know, my ink pads are a mess because I use them in my mixed media. All right. And then I'm going to stamp it. Stamp it up. Ba bow. So you see texture. So imagine, like I said, I have videos all over my channel. If you click my name underneath this video, it'll take you to my main YouTube page. If you go up, you'll see like videos, da da da, and then you'll see a little search. Search stamps, and all my videos with my homemade stamps will come up. So you can see, like, you really can, you know, stamp some stuff and get some texture going with really, these are so cheap and you can buy them in packages, use a coupon at your AC Moore, Michaels, Joann's, um, you know, and all that kind of stuff, very inexpensively. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I will be doing a video when I'm using these on fabric, but I just wanted to real quick show you guys, you know, a quickie. Um, I have a lot of these and I have a lot of ideas and, um, why not use stuff that we have sitting around, you know, I mean, these are great and I have a few that are empty. And uh, I can use the caps, the lids. You can do so many different things. So I love you guys so very much. I hope that everything is going fantastic for you guys. Uh, remember progress, not perfection. And um, oh my gosh, I just lost my whole train of thought. Be kind to each other because you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. If you try this, tag me. All my information is down below. You can find me Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, um, Twitter, I'm all over the place, uh, and tag me so I can see what you guys do. Uh, there can, my gosh, we can do diamonds. I mean, there's so many different things and I'm going to, I'm going to do like a, a different array of kind of things to show you, uh, you know, some cool things. And I did pull the winner for the giveaway and I did, uh, respond to her con her comment, uh, that she had won. I have not heard from her yet. And, um, my next video, I'll probably just say her name, but that's how I will be notifying you guys underneath, you know, the comments of the giveaway. So yeah, just a reminder. I love you guys so very much. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you later. Bye-bye.